Hello everyone, I'm Rafi and welcome to the Plugin India channel. Wow, do we have an exciting story for you. This is something that is the stuff of movies, courtroom battles. Uh, we have electric vehicles and apartment charging. The fight continues. With us exclusively is Mr. Anand Vedula. He has been fighting a court case to allow for his society, his residential welfare association to allow him to set up a charge point where he parks his car. Now, this is a very common problem. Almost every EV owner before or during the purchase of the car has to go through this. And I know so many people who have backed off because of this very issue. They are very sustainability conscious, they are environment conscious people. But because they feel they will have to go through a lot of rigmarole, they have backed off from buying an electric vehicle and then gone in for petrol and diesel and ice. So, Anand has been a different case. A very inspiring person in personal life. Uh, we have another video which shows you who Anand really is. And uh, his court case is nearing an end. Uh, the 15th of December, today is the 11th, or, uh, is when his uh, case, his final hearing will be. So we've got him over uh, to share with us his journey so far and what's been happening with that case. Anand, uh, welcome to the show. Now, Please tell us, tell our audience a little bit about your second EV, the E2O. And uh, what is the problem that you faced, which made you actually go to court? And why did you do it this way? Okay. So, uh, I came to Bangalore in 2017. Uh, okay. I was using uh, EVs in Hyderabad. And in Hyderabad, I live in an independent house. Right. So, I never had this charging problem. So, um, I have installed a socket in my garage and even my company was supporting me. They have dedicated a parking slot and a socket with me there for me there. So, I used to charge wherever possible at home and at office. Uh, when I came to Bangalore, uh, I purchased an apartment in my current residency in Sriram Samruddhi. And... Um, I never knew that uh, I'll face all this, like uh, I'll go through all this uh, <laughs> in this society. Like it's common sense. It's just one wire running from point yeah. A, that is my panel board, to point B, that is my parking area and one socket, 5 amp socket for a uh, bike and uh, 15 amp socket for a uh, car. So it's a simple thing to do. So wow. we have a society of uh, 504 apartments in 16 blocks. And among them, I was the first and I was the only EV owner. There were EV owners earlier. They had bikes with detachable batteries. Ah. And some residents like, uh, I mean, there were EV owners in 2014 also in the same apartment. They used to just drop a wire from their home, charge it ah. and then pull it back. So when I asked my society that uh, I'm bringing my electric bike and I need a charging point, they said that uh, that cannot be given uh, as per the BESCOM rules. BESCOM is our electricity board in Bangalore. Right. So their first uh, problem was they said that uh, BESCOM has given power to your apartment. So uh, and I cannot extend the power from my apartment to any uh, point outside. So the electricity given to my apartment should be within the boundaries of, used between the bound within the boundaries of my apartment. And they said if okay. I could. Uh, take my battery out but at that time it was lead acid battery and it is not feasible to open and carry four batteries to home yeah that's heavy quite heavy that's heavy 10 kg uh, like each battery was 10 mm -hmm. kg and that was not safe also not safe and feasible also yeah. so then i said okay let me talk to bescom and i went to the bescom office and asked the aw so he said it is not at all a problem they are concerned only if i'm tapping the power before meter or after meter so after your meter, they said, it's already built. You can take it wherever you want. Use it however you like. We don't have any problem. I told the committee, they said, no, no, the officers say like that. But the lineman who comes, if he sees a wire in the meter room, he will put a penalty on the society. And I said, okay, that is fine. I'll run a wire from my home to my apartment, to my car parking. So no, no. I have run a hundred meter wire from my apartment, which is the ninth floor, to my car parking, Whoa. which is in the next block. So 100 meter wire from the TV socket and I had a switch control there and they said for safety reasons, uh, I said I'll not charge it in the daytime. I'll uh, connect it and only at 10 o'clock in the night when no one uses any of this infrastructure, the cabling and all because the vendors won't use it at that time. I'll switch it on at 10 o'clock and switch off at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock in the morning. 
so they were kind of okay with that but all this conversation was verbal and uh, i was using it for close to 2 years with no without any problem so then another person he bought a used reva car his apartment uh, i mean his car parking is right below his apartment so he used to drop a wire and then charge it so even that was going on uh, and then the association member said no you can't use the common infrastructure this will be a problem and all then i went to bescom office and mm. said like sir if you can give me something in writing i can show it to my apartment and association and they will allow then the aw said okay that is fine and he i wrote a letter and he gave a footnote saying that you can take it from your meter and uh, follow all the safety norms then okay i said okay i informed the committee i pulled the wire from my apartment to uh, i mean through the duct and connected it to my uh, meter so that reduced the length from 100 meters to 60 meters 60 or okay. 65 meters and i was using it for next 6 months so there was no problem uh, absolutely no problem then uh, they thought like if everyone does this then that could be a safety hazard then they said okay if we allow this uh, we have to make the infrastructure that will cost the society and why will the non ev owners pay for this then they said okay we'll give two common charging points let everyone has to go and charge there then i said that will not scale up because my car takes around 4 hours to charge bike also takes around 3 to 4 hours right. what if there are 20 people and how many vcps you'll convert into ev like uh, there are some 50 visitor car parkings <laughs> so if the resident car park okay. car is getting charged at a vcp where will the visitor park his car and everyone wants to charge overnight uh, which is good for the grid good for the ev good for the battery and okay. convenient also so how can people share uh, common charging points and then uh, we also said that okay reva and dto we have something called as vacation mode which uh, when we don't use the vehicle okay. for more than a week we have to keep it plugged into a socket and that is not possible at a shared charging point so the only sustainable way of doing this is like you can uh, have an individual charging point okay then there is one technical challenge where uh, like uh, because there are 16 towers so someone living in tower a his car parking is not in tower a his car parking is in tower c so running a wire would be challenge that is not a problem uh, if the association applies for a separate meter we'll give separate meter i mean uh, <laughs> so you, you can put a separate meter in the nearest panel room and you can extend from there no. so they were kind of convinced but uh, they were not sure uh, but i was continuing to use my uh, charging point after all this discussion so then the covid situation happened and uh, the residents ah. meeting have stopped and everyone's focus was on covid so i was stuck in my village then came to hyderabad then because i solved my ev charging problem i brought my reva car also my parents were using it in hyderabad ah. and even they were shifting to bangalore so i brought my e2o car sorry e2o ah. car to bangalore yeah. so that came and after seeing my car then they thought that okay like if we allow this then everyone will uh, <laughs> uh, demand a separate charging, charging point and then they cut my wire without uh, informing me and they said okay yeah. now uh, like if you want a charging point you put a request and then we'll facilitate somewhere then i said why did you cut my wire then they said okay the meter may be yours but and the car parking may be yours but the wire goes through common area and we have the right so common area you can't put any uh, private wire you can't run any private wire through common area so then i said uh, that is not any encroachment like even the dish antennas we put it on the terrace and the wire comes from there to our individual houses through common area okay even car parking is common area so we will not allow and finally they gave both of us notices that we are violating common area uh, i mean we are i mean it's a violation of common area as per the building bylaws 2003 and uh, mm-hmm. uh, one fine day they gave notices some 10 people like all the society's security uh, the committee members the electricians everyone came with a big mm-hmm. hangama they videotaped all that and they removed the entire wire they used hammers right. and they just uh, smashed my charging point and they confiscated it so then i again went to bescom office and uh, uh, i went to the corporate office now to and escalated to the next level and saying that mm. the association is not giving any respect to your letter then the m uh, i mean the dgm uh, 
uh, he said that okay bescom can only facilitate mm-hmm. but we cannot insist uh, i mean we cannot uh, give an order to the association to uh, uh, to like uh, uh to restore the connection but we can educate them it's all a charging then, point uh, then uh, he said like uh, we will uh, he asked the awe to like uh, to go yeah. to the association and convince them so we called for a meeting they didn't come then i told the awe please come and ex- uh, explain them so he came to our uh, apartment and spoke to our vice president at that time and said that uh, this is possible there is also okay. a notification from bescom that uh, we can extend from uh, uh, this one from the meter to parking and wherever technically it is not possible we will give a separate meter so the md was like uh, quite supportive he said if 50 people apply for uh, separate meters we will give 50 <laughs> separate meters as on when people uh, ask uh, awesome. i mean come ask for a submitter we'll give all this yeah. just one uh, so i don't even have to explain from my block to my next block where my car parking is like i live in e block my car parking is that block i need not extend a 60 meter wire he'll give me a separate right. meter in f block row, yeah, panel block row. from there i can extend a 10 meter wire and just put in then the association president said no 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 uh, this is our association our common area you cannot dictate us you don't have the authority to dictate to us and will not uh, entertain this and please keep away stay away from this uh, matter so he went away he gave his report said that i tried my best but they are not listening and i don't have the power to insist them then uh, i went to bbmp office and uh, explained the situation he said that uh, the bylaws are old and uh, when the government is supporting evs you can put that is not any violation like right. we put ac external units and dish antennas you can put a socket in your car parking and since bescom is allowing extend fr- from your meter and do it and he gave a letter in writing and i put that letter to my association uh, president and said okay please allow this now you have clearance from bescom and bbmp the electricity board and the municipal board what else do you want then he said no okay. we will not allow and for court like this is a low priority case i mean mm. this is civil suit and this is low priority yeah. so i had to wait for four months to like uh, submit my petition to the court i submitted the petition and uh, then we uh, uh, went for a hearing and the court gave an order to restore it and i showed the order to my president and asked them okay let me restore it then again he started finding words in that and saying that the court orders uh, doesn't use the word restore it says you can use the existing charging point and as of today because there is no existing charging point i'll not let you put a new charging point then i said okay my <laughs> existing charging point is in your custody you give it to me and i'll put the existing one only even if it is damaged and dented that is fine i'll put it back then he said no 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 we'll not allow i went to police station they also went to police station and the police said that when there is a court order you can't interpret uh, as per your convenience and do it and you have to like allow hmm. so i tried to put the charging point and then again a big uh, group of the committee members and the ex presidents everyone came and they ah. started claiming that this is common area and you cannot uh, put the charging point they made a hangama there and uh, they didn't let me to do and the police also said that this is civil suit and anyway the hearing is in next uh, two weeks so we we also don't want to involve in this so uh, i got the order uh, but they didn't allow me to put it then i filed a contempt petition and the hearings are going on so i'll just briefly tell on uh, what is my ground mm-hmm. and what is their ground so right. um, initially they said that uh, uh, i mean i don't own the car parking i just have the right to park my car but i can't do anything more than that and the judge was uh, not agreeing with them he said that when he owns car parking how does it matter when it is uh, uh, not uh, disturbing anyone like the wires mm-hmm. go through the beams and conduits the charging point is within my car parking slot so how does it go then they said no we are worried about the fire safety and all and uh, our transformers are very old our apartment society is very old like it's 17 year old and uh, we don't have the infra then i said that mm-hmm. is not a problem because uh, i have a sanction load of 5 kilowatts my u2o consumes only 2.5 kilowatts per hour for that i even showed the proof that i took it to bescom charging station charged it for 3 hours and and showed it to them saying that uh, this is how much my 
car consumes the i mean for any ev like i mean i put my arguments to the court saying that this is easy this can be done it's only a socket which we use for our ac and geysers and submitted uh, the uh, relevant sections from my e2s user manual showed what is vacation mode and why we need it and uh, uh, and all that stuff and then they said no we will not allow then uh, the court has asked for the expert opinion so i went to bescom and uh, uh, gave a letter saying that i need this and bescom gave me a letter saying that you can do it they quoted all the government policies from ministry of power and all and they said you can do it right. and then i submitted it back to Bes- uh, to the court now they tried everything to delay the hearing finally they found something in my sale deed they said that i have tampered my sale deed <laughs> and added the car parking as my ownership which is not there in the previous uh, uh, sale deed the schedule c says exclusive rights over car parking and in my sale deed that exclusive rights phrase is not there then they started saying that uh, you don't own the land and i said of course i don't own the land no one owns the land even if i live in the ground floor of my apartment i don't own the land so it is right, it is uds it is undivided share of the land which i own and no one knows whose undivided share is in which, which part of the land <laughs> right it's so the they said that idea. for for that reason we will not have a private tv charging Wow. and uh, they have quoted something called uh, some order 6 or something uh, uh, and said that as per that this suit is not maintainable at all then my stand is okay uh, car parking is not common area because i paid for it even the first owner has paid some money to the builder and we are got it allo- allocated so it is mine like i, I mean and both are schedule c properties even my apartment right. is schedule c property and even my car need. parking is schedule c property so it is not schedule d which is common area like some gym or children's park area right so it is designated only for me and only i can park there so when i am parking my electric car there i need a charging point there and i can and bescom is ready to facilitate it they are giving me a separate meter with actually subsidized the uh, unit rate also right and uh, they are saying right. that on that grounds that i don't own the land i cannot put a charging point there so we have challenged it so we are challenging it we'll put our arguments on 15th and uh, sometimes in january maybe the okay. first order will come whether the suit is maintainable or not by any chance if uh, the whatever the association is claiming is true and is legally correct then mm. every apartment association who is yeah. allowing private tv charging they all are violating the law unknowingly correct so nobody can charge that means it's something to learn from you didn't really jump into it straight off it was a step by step progression and you've been very very patient with every step of the way and made sure that uh, you followed the law and done the right things gotten the right permissions and i really really hope that it works out for you because if it works for for you it works out for a whole lot of citizens uh and right, what's your situation right now where are you currently charging your electric vehicles luckily for me uh, just one year back my cousin bought an apartment which is ah. at a walkable distance so okay. and uh, when on. he asked his association they said okay take from your meter we don't have any problem <laughs> and uh, from last 6 months actually even the offices have opened from march or april okay and uh, i am charging in my office so in my office we have only two evs like me and one next one okay. guy and they have put two charging points there and they have wow. put barricades also saying it's only ev okay. parking zone <laughs> so for me it's a privilege whenever i go i have a charging point there and yeah. a dedicated parking slot court petition they said that i'm parking five vehicles and okay they right. also gave one more funny uh, uh, claim saying that i am not the owner of the car and the bike ah. because the bike <laughs> is registered on my sister's name right. and as for them she is not my family member because she is married oh my god So and the car is registered on my cousin's stuff. name because ah. in 2016 i just paid the booking amount and got the car and because i moved to bangalore and he is there in hyderabad so he registered on he his name and uh, it's within the family so they are saying that i don't right. own the car i don't own the bike and i don't <laughs> don't own the parking also because it is uh, the land is society's area so on that grounds they wanted the case to be dismissed but the judge didn't entertain all that the context of the case is i own a ev i am parking it in my car parking and i need a socket there nothing more than that the power can either come from my meter or it can come from a separate meter which is given by the bescom and the bill payment is between me and bescom so the association has no role here 
right so we had new new committee on november 1st they are still in the process okay, of taking god. kt from the old committee okay. and at least they are sensible people and uh, they are not right, talking about from all this they may personally agree that uh, i am right but uh, because they are in the officially they can't they take the stand officially right they can't take yeah. the stand so they have to continue with the previous case but finally all the filings are over and uh, we are in the stage right. of arguments so i am hopeful that uh, the case will be positive and it will end soon and uh, yes. let us see fingers crossed anand we are yes, praying crossed. for you as well the entire ev community is with you and thank you very uh, really much we, and... yes so we are waiting now that means for the judgment to come on the 15th is the next date so guys yeah, prayers on that day, day please <laughs> and Special i got a lot us. of uh, support from the ev community like uh, yes ev pioneers like people like uh, i mean uh, chetan maini he t- tweeted in my favor yeah. got a tweet from uh, tarun from uh, ether, ether energy, tarun yeah. mehta from ether energy and some ev veterans like uh, zaril premani and right. all who are the first ev owners they are supporting me in whichever way they can i mean i was uh, trying to connect to more people so professor ashok junjunwala from ah. iit madras oh, wow. he supported me he wrote to niti aayog on my grievance and i got some attention there Amazing. and uh, uh, this was before that uh, ev handbook so and uh, right. mr chetan right. maini also like uh, he try, he too supported me good word. at least a tweet yeah uh, it is one tweet one it's tweet public. from big people yeah. that will help uh, that will uh, get more attention and right. uh, mr mahesh babu also supported uh, from mahindra wow. electric now he is not right, at mahindra right. electric so at that ah, time he was at mahindra that. electric yeah. and he to connected me to his secretary and uh, uh, she was also coordinating and we were trying to compile all the data see what all yeah. are available and is there a favorable law and all so this way i also connected with uh, um, with uh, max and louis from magenta right. and uh, jyoti rajan from bolt and uh, i told that this is the grievance and even they were aware uh, 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 an environment and political uh, i mean a political That's politician right. and environment and animals right activist mr arun prasad so he is with right. me he is helping with me with to take my grievance to every level so on bbmp side we gave grievances to the bbmp commissioner and we took it to the uh principal secretary of uh, udd urban development right. department and uh, uh tejaswini anand kumar madam she also helped me she, so she was also one of the first reva owners and uh, <laughs> she helped me she connected me with some people some ev owners and we went and met the energy minister and he was also positive so from the energy side they are very clear they gave everything from the municipal side also it is clear but there is nothing no clear guideline in writing right. uh, one more case is going on kerala and uh, for the same case where the ev owner wants to extend from his meter and the association was not allowing so they right. filed a case in kerala high court on the association and on the government of kerala so it's also kind of pil the government has to right. go give the guidelines one resident in coimbatore was also facing similar issue so i gave him my documents i mean all my research work and all so my rtis and all so he right. took that to the coimbatore district collector office and the collector gave an order to facilitate so right. things are moving it's slow but it's moving but it's uh, bits and pieces here and there so right. one uh, good judgment either in my case or in the kerala case or in the mumbai uh, bombay high court the pil mm-hmm. someone gets a positive judgment that will help the entire community we have a question for you from one of our community members mr amit arya and he says uh, how do you plan to channel your experiences in supporting electric vehicle users india wide uh, people who are caught between their rwas and discoms as you have seen the entire working from top to bottom uh, how does a normal ev owner go about doing this and and he also wants to know how people can support you how can people like him support you how can plug in india support you any individual who looks at this video and knows your case how can they support you so these yes, end sir. user grievances should reach the policy makers so that can happen hmm. through media like uh, one debate or one short film or something uh, where we post all capture the end the user grievances attention. will capture the public attention because i am sure that many people might be facing the similar issue and some exactly. have exactly uh, a lot a lot of them do they just don't get into this 
they they postponed their decision uh, just so. uh, instead of buying an ether or ola purchase an activa and <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's, so, what that's what happens that's what happens uh, finally another community question uh, uh, our community members this is something that they all face uh, want to know how do you deal with the mental stress of having gone through so much what actually happened to you no, it yeah, took a lot of toll on me so it's not an easy journey because uh, when i started with it uh, i didn't know even, even who to contact and whether legally i can win or not so they just came removed my charging point and then i started yeah. searching so one support help because i was part of one ev owners whatsapp group where most of right. the owners are from bangalore and they are reva and d2 owners and uh, Ampt- right. ampere and other bike owners so we had a group there so i have posted there and uh, again nikhil came to my rescue like he uh, his sister is an advocate and she is right. supporting my case and she is owner of ether and she has a nexon <laughs> also so being an okay. ev owner she understands my pain and uh, she took some priority and uh, tried it but everything is not in our hand when it comes to court like we oh. hardly get 5 to 10 minutes to present our case if they yeah. don't come or we don't go on time they'll just postpone the matter and it will Plus. take one more month right. like it's a small window where we have to pitch in our presentation Actually and the, the judge case, has yeah. to understand that so this reminds me of a famous couplet which goes hum akeli hi chale the janbe manzil magar log saath hote gaye aur kar wahan banta chala so at the end of this journey i can see that you've got support from equipment manufacturers from companies from uh, private players people who set up charging stations from ordinary individuals from government politicians all over the place and this is such a wonderful story anand thank you so much for sharing and viewers thank you so much for watching this video i hope you share it with as many people as you can and until we see you again in the next video take care